Welcome to Ram Nation News. First off, we have Corban Morrison and his segment on the football game. Friday night football kicks off and so do the interviews. These wily kids are having the time of their life. Here we go. How guys feeling before the game? Great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Go Rams! <laughs> How are you guys feeling before the game? Great! Why did you guys choose to do that? Uh, it was fun! Fun! Go How do you feel before the game? You know, I feel like the South Haven Rams are a very good team. I feel like Delton Kellogg doesn't got nothing on us. Go Rams! Go Rams! Yeah, was that good? Oh, <laughs> this is going to be a good segment. <laughs> How are you feeling about this game today? Well, you know, South Haven's going to get a big W. We're going to hold it high. Go Rams! 100-0. 100-0. Oh, oh. How are you feeling, Corbin? Are you feeling great? Um, I feel good. We're about to win by 90, so I should obviously feel good. 90, because we're the Rams. 90. Oh, Rams. Rams. Yeah. 90. Yeah. 100. Uh-huh. 1,000. 60 points. Uh, Bright's about to get like 300 yards rushing. Brady's going to throw for like 60 touchdowns, so yeah. Delton Kellogg who? Frosted Flakes who? We'll kill, we kill Panthers around here. Go Rams. Rams. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna come yeah. With, let me come in with something emotional. <laughs> if, if we win, I'm gonna donate to charity to help. Yeah, I'm gonna diabetes, take it back. To help cure diabetes for my cousin. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's how that's much. Really it. Like, this is legally binding, by the way. One grand. One grand. One grand. I'm gonna take it. One dollar. No. Go. Go He's around. a good man right there. What's the interview? How are you feeling before the game? You know, I'm feeling amazing. We're about to get this dub, and yeah. That's it. How are you guys feeling before this game? I'm feeling great. I, I have the gear on. I'm excited. First I'm, game, yeah. first home game yeah. of the season. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm liking the new look of everything. I unfortunately don't have the gear on. He has my Hawaiian shirt, but I think I think today is going to be a good turnout. It's going to be really fun. Uh, I think they're going to do well. Um, I'm not totally sure. It looks like they got more players than us, but I feel I still think we'll come out with this win. You know, yeah, it's going to be a real tough game, but I think we got it. We got it. Yeah, they're they're a good team, but we we're a good team too, and I think we got a good chance. Go Rams! Go Rams! Yep, go Rams! We had a loud student section, <laughs> and hope that it sticks around for our future games. It was a close game. Closing score was 12 to 18. Even though we lost, we put up a fight and learned from it. The next game will be this Friday or even today, depending on release. Thank you for watching Ram Nation News. Up next is yours truly doing a segment on peer to peer. So, what is peer to peer? The peer to peer program, um, formerly peer to peer, now we are working on changing the name to the SHIP program, South Haven Inclusion Program is a program where we pair students who receive special ed services with higher level students, um, junior, seniors, in their classes to help them learn social skills, behavior skills, um, help them be a part of the community, and also help them a lot in their classrooms. What's your favorite part about Peer to Peer? So my favorite part is definitely learning about like each and every one of the students and like links and being able to help them out. So why are we changing it to the SHIP program? We are changing the name from peer to peer to SHIP because the peer to peer organization, which is based out of Grand Valley State University, during their trainings, they encourage you to create your own program that is central to your town, your community, your school. So as I was brainstorming with my husband um, and some other students over the week, um, over last year, we were trying to come up with something that works with South Haven. And obviously we talked about the lake um, and we wanted to make it into an acronym. So SHIP, 
um, obviously because of the giant, wonderful pirate ship that we have in town. <coughs> and we decided that it fit perfectly into an acronym because of a lovely student who came up with the idea of South Haven Inclusion Program. What does a typical day look like for a peer-to-peer -peer participant? So a typical day it looks like helping your link, which is the peers person that they're like assigned to. And it's just trying to help them whatever they're working on, whatever they're doing in like a certain class. So like some people go out of Miss Otto's room and go into like a math class and have to help their link with math. What is your favorite part about peer-to-peer? My favorite part about the program is obviously the students and the fact that by the end of the year, the relationships that they build with each other is like something I've never really seen. Like they really are, they depend on each other, they count on each other, they are there for each other. It's really great. We kind of turn into, I know it sounds corny, but we turn into a little bit of a family by the end of the year. Up next is Eli doing a segment on the tennis team. Assistant Coach Linus, how do you think today's game went? Uh, I went fine. Yep, uh, team played hard. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, got some work to do, but we'll do it. We got it. Elite ball placement. Me and Griffin, me and my tennis partner could have played a lot better. We no. let we let emotions get get in our heads. And but um, you know, well, we just gotta let it slide. We're we gotta let it slide. You know what oh, we shoot. you know what we get? Fast food, baby. How do you feel today's match went? All right, we played well, but still got our butts kicked. I'm gonna cry when I get home. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart and have a great day. See ya, Ram fam.